to join me in a moment of silence to remember those who have been through the tragic actions in Arizona, the six people who lost their lives, those who were injured, including our friend Gabby Giffords, and the friends of the family in need of comfort during these difficult times. As we remember those who lost their lives and those who are fighting to regain their health, let us remember the words of the man we're here to celebrate. Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. said, darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. As we as a nation come together to heal from this tragedy, let us recognize that only by working together can we move forward and make this nation worthy of our dreams and aspirations. While we see anger and unrest all over the globe, we also see the will from many to do what's right, the courage to stand up to injustice and make a difference. Today, as we honor Dr. King, we remember a man who was spurred to action by the injustice that he witnessed, by the injustice that he experienced. Always leading by example, he called us to stand up to injustice, and by doing so, inspired a nation. In his final speech, Dr. King said, let us rise up tonight with a greater readiness. Let us stand with a greater determination and let us move on to these powerful days, these days of challenge to make America what it ought to be. Well, those words were spoken so powerfully more than 40 years ago. The message rings true today. In the wake of the Arizona tragedy, let us recommit ourselves to achieving the fulfillment of Dr. King's message. Let us continue to strive to make America what it ought to be. To honor his message, we must consider our words as well as our deeds. We must seek to lift up all Americans and our world through what we say and through what we do. And we must seek to create a stronger society, a more just society, because of the truth that lies in Dr. King's words. The bedrock truth that we are better when we look out for one another. There are people throughout history like Dr. King who turn their lives over to service, and who are known the world over for their incredible contributions, but even actions that may seem small to some can make a difference in someone else's life. Let us today, as a reminder to be the exemplar of compassion and kindness in our own communities, shovel the driveway for an elderly neighbor, hold the door open for a stranger, spend time volunteering for a worthy cause and say something when you see an injustice in the world around you. This weekend, we recognize a leader who reminds us to be of service where there is need, a leader whose contributions are felt each day by every American. May we reflect on his words and example, and may we all be better for it. Thank you very much, and may God bless each and every one of you. May God bless America. Congressman Ben Lujan, Jr. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs>